So good morning, it's Saturday morning, the end of our trip here to Walksham Race. Just having a sneaky pan of chocolat now before we get ready to head off on our trip back to the UK. Last year, when we left, we decided to leave really, really early, about 5.30 in the morning. Um, having the previous year left a lot later in the day, well left leaving, left about 10 in the morning, got stuck in all the traffic coming in and out of the, the valley on the changeover day. So last year we left super early, this year we're doing the opposite and we're going to leave super late. So it's about, um, it's about 7.30 now, we're going to have a relaxed breakfast, get ourselves packed up and organised. We need to be out of the cabin by around, well by mid-morning. And then we'll uh, kill some time in Borg Saint Maurice, grab some lunch, and then we've got a leisurely drive back to catch our Euro Tunnel train um, at early on Sunday morning. So the whole point of this is to try and beat the traffic coming in and out of the Alpine Valleys, which is always a problem and just be, make more effective use of the time rather than being sat stationary in a queue. So we'll find out later on if it works. But uh, first thing is to enjoy breakfast, get everything packed up, loaded in the van, and uh, see if this plan works. We've already heard some of our neighbours in their cabins leave already. Um, there's some people opposite us from Germany who appear to have gone, and some Belgians who appear to have gone as well, but uh, yeah, it's one of the downsides of driving to the Alps is the, the traffic on changeover day can be, and usually is, pretty horrendous at uh, various times. But hopefully, having taken a bit of advice from various Facebook forums and friends who've travelled before, we'll see if this uh, change of strategy is going to work. And if we arrive at Euro Tunnel ahead of time, then potentially we get the opportunity to jump onto an earlier train as well. In the meantime, get to enjoy the view for a little bit longer. So there we go, all packed up and a little bit of space left for any mementos we want to pick up when we pop in to Borg Samaries this morning. So with our extra time that we have today, because we are leaving later, it's given us the opportunity to enjoy a walk along the river into the town of Borg Samaries. So we may regret this leisurely morning but a day like today, beautiful sunshine, it's glorious isn't it? So this little walk from the campsite to the town takes it's about a mile, about 20 minutes and I know that people do it instead of getting the shuttle uh, in their ski boots, I've seen them walking along here in their boots carrying skis and poles, I don't think that's quite uh, my preferred way to get to the funicular but it's doable but nonetheless it's one of the benefits of staying at the campsite here is that it's another thing to do in a day like today obviously you can come for a walk some of the motorhome guys have brought their bikes with them so you can go cycling and the town is within easy distance So it's market day on Saturday, so we get the chance to look at all the beautiful produce that's available. I think Claire and Ben have been accosted by a man selling local olives. Whether they buy anything or not, we'll find out. Are we going to go buy any? No, we don't need anything. 
And for our Argentinian friends who we met at the campsite, there was a stall selling Argentinian produce. Yeah. So maybe they'll come see that later. Super snug. Like Yeti feet. Just on that, look amazing. Bye bye, Utopia. So there we go. We've enjoyed a lovely, sunny, spring like morning in Borg San Maurice, um, enjoying the market and having a stroll around lunch at the cafe in the super U, which is well worth checking out a really nice pizzas and burgers for a very reasonable price and it's about two o'clock now so our plan is hopefully by leaving later in the day we're going to hit less traffic in albertville on the way back so let's find out if the theory works and we'll update you later on We are two miles out of Bork San Maurice and in past journeys. It's taken us an hour to get this far. And touch wood, so far, traffic's looking really clear. Hopefully, it's like this all the way as well. A new home for a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride So the queue on the opposite side of the road is the Saturday afternoon queue to the Alps Which is the queue we should have been in last week It worked, because we came Friday Right. By coming early, we beat it. I know not everybody can do that. We can do that. And by leaving late, so far, fingers crossed, we've had a clean run all the way through for an hour past UTA on our way to Albert. No delays. Cause I find my way. Cause I find my way. So just past Albertville and the traffic on the opposite side of the road has been queuing since Moochie, which I need to look on the map but I looked up because I'm just being how hard it is. But there are people out of their vehicles standing on the hard shoulder so they've obviously been there for some time. I'm sorry for them because it's going to be a long, long trek until they get to the mountains. In bad times I know I'll be okay because I find my way. So it is status update time. It's 20 past five. Now we've been on the road for three and three and a quarter hours. Um, we've made really, really good progress, which is great news because the traffic coming the opposite way was, as you'd expect, on a Saturday afternoon heading towards the Alps. It was very, very busy. We've managed to cover about 100. 80 miles out of our 730 odd mile trip from Borg Samaries back to Salisbury uh, in three and a quarter hours. The traffic has been 
very, very kind to us. We're now at an air in bourg en bresse uh, bourg en bresse is famous for production of poulet or chicken. And the service station, the air, has a giant sculpture of a chicken that we've passed many a time on the auto route. Never stopped here and we have stopped here today. But we pull up, get out, park up and then what should we see? Not chickens, but storks flying through the sky. Giant storks like herons. So this is a really nice picturesque stop off. Quite a big air. But very rural. So we're just going to have a cup of tea and a nibble of some sort and then carry on trekking up to Calais. Now our tunnel crossing isn't booked until uh, for about another 12 hours actually. It's about five o'clock Sunday morning so sort of debating whether we just arrive really early and see if we can get an extra cross it, an earlier crossing without too much charge but we'll see how we're, we're getting on with our timings. If we are only arriving about two or three hours in hand then we'll probably just wait for our planned crossing but uh, if we're well ahead who knows we might be on on track. So at the moment our friends who left Borg Sam Reese at exactly the same time as us who are flying back to the UK are st stopped uh, at Geneva for a night in a hotel to catch a flight tomorrow morning at the same time as us. So it's interesting to see how we're tracking in comparison to that on our trip back. It was a bit like a race in Top Gear, but without the racing. Well, but it isn't. without the it speed. Is. But it is a sort of race. It's definitely a race. It's definitely a race. <laughs> anyway, time for a cup of tea. So it's two o'clock in the morning on Sunday. We've just had our overnight I say overnight, a couple of hours stop off at our, I can't even remember because it's the middle of the night, the air where we stopped before. We've got about two hours to get to the Euro Tunnel for our check-in at uh, 20 past four this morning for the first train back to the UK. Just to do, do a splash and dash at the fuel station, won't put too much in because fuel is very expensive on the auto route. But yeah, on the final leg home. So we made it. We're on the train. It is 20 past five. We've got an earlier train, an hour earlier than planned. And the journey time has been perfect. We've had no traffic issues, no traffic queues. The weather's been great. Um, and it's been the perfect trip. So our plan of leaving later to avoid the traffic has absolutely worked in our favour. The only downside I can imagine is we're going to have when we hit the M20 and the M25, the other side, that no doubt we'll have problems there because it's raining as well. But uh, yeah, so we left Borg San Maurice at around 2.30 yesterday afternoon, Saturday afternoon. We stopped in total for probably about four hours with a two and a half hour sleep break and a couple of comfort breaks and uh, snack breaks. So total travelling time was bang on the nine hours or so 
that uh, the Google Maps quoted. But, uh, for those of you planning a trip, trying to think about a trip and trying to coordinate, trying to leave ahead to get there before Saturday and leave later on Saturday, absolutely has worked in our favour. And uh, yeah, definitely recommend it. Our friends who were staying with us in Borg San Reese and who we were actually flying back uh, left Borg San Reese about half an hour ahead of us. They were flying from Geneva uh, to Bournemouth and stopping overnight in Geneva as well. We just had a message from them to say that they were just going through the check-in uh, at Geneva Airport. So in terms of arrival time back in the UK, it could be a close run thing. It would be interesting to see how the journey time for flying versus driving compares. So anyway, that just about wraps up this trip. We'll have to start thinking about our next trip uh, very, very soon. I really hope you've enjoyed sharing this trip with us. Uh, we've had an amazing time. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, please remember to hit the button to like and subscribe. It really helps the algorithm. And we look forward to seeing you on the next video very, very soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Welcome to England.